Welcome to this Witch City Collector presentation. I'm Paul, and what have I got for you today? I've got a 124th scale Volkswagen Golf GTI by Hungwell in their Carama range. I don't have the packaging out. I'm not going to dig it out. I display it on its I display it on its little plastic base because it looks pretty good that way, and it fits where I got it on a shelf. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it off the base. That's the plastic base. I'll be right back, and we'll take a look at the car. And we're back. So this was gifted to me for one of my, I think one of my birthdays from my brother. So I can't complain. But uh, yeah, so it's 124th scale. The wheels are authentic looking GTI wheels. They have, you can see in there, brake calipers and brake discs through the wheels, which is pretty cool. They got fully opening doors. On both both the passenger both the driver and the passenger side, get it open. Actually, it's going to be hard. Let's break. Go, fully opening doors, which is just to the front with hat with the nicely detailed grill, badging, uh, bottom grills, running light, uh, fog lights, lensed headlights, multi piece construction. Unfortunately, one of the lenses is missing, but you can see that in the we in the headlights they have actual. Like light bulbs in there. It doesn't light up, but it has with the appearance of light bulbs. And we have an opening hood, which shows you the nice detailed FSI Turbo Volkswagen engine. I know you can't see that very well because of this light. I'm going to shadow. Let me see if I can grab a flashlight quickly. And we will take a look at that, which I don't see my flashlight anywhere. Handy. Oh, nope, there it is. Excuse me for being a little blind. We've got... There's a, there, you, there you can see it. Nice uh, multicolored, multicolored tampoing. Your engine and your components. If I were a car guy, I could tell you a little more about what's on the inside. But, as we know, I just collect, ha I just collect die cast hatchbacks. And anything, well, anything hatchback related other than... Well, I don't have a one-to-one -one scale car, but uh, you never know. I might just be crazy enough to buy one. Has steerable wheels. You can turn them from the wheels, or you can turn the uh, turn the steering wheel itself. Like I said, the passenger side has opening doors, nice door cards. The uh, the side mirrors are rubber, and on this model, the mirror backing is a little bit messed up. Both sides have the wheels with the with the uh, brake discs and the brake calipers, which I had just noticed when I took this out earlier because I never really took a close enough look. Is the back side with the orange reverse lights, or the orange stop lights, the red reverse lights, multi piece construction with the lens the tail lens the head tail lights. It's got your GTI badging, your Volkswagen logo, your GTI license plate, and separate pieces for your exhaust. It has an opening hatch with the parcel shelf, which, unlike in the real model, it doesn't raise up when you open it, but who needs that anyway? It's going to be displayed down most of the time. And speaking of the exhaust and the base, it has a, a nicely, uh, somewhat detailed base for your 124th scale. I think this wheel's a little jacked up. This one right here looks a little funky to me. I'll have to take a look at it when I get this done. It's chrome pieces for your exhaust and your exhaust piping. Other than that, that's about it. It's got your 124th scale VW Golf GTI and the Hungwell logo. I don't know what's bought, what would normally be over there. Maybe some sort of a limited edition number or something if they do it. Looks like it wants to have steerable back wheels, but I don't know. Just maybe different pieces. Wouldn't have steerable back wheels anyway, but who knows. So we're going to take a look at the inside of the basic gray interior. But you've got beautiful details with that interior. We've got some nice foot pedals. The dashboard is nicely tampoed in there with your indicators, with your dials and whatnot. Multi-color, multi-multi-color uh, steering wheel, which again, if I can put this down, I can try to do it from this side. You can see that when we turn the wheels, the steering wheel does in fact turn, which is cool. The center screen on the dash on the uh, dashboard has a GPS look in there, 
I don't know where they're going, but it has GPS there. Stick shift. And your center console has a multicolor, has a mixed tempoing with some colors. And even the orange pieces on the seat on the seat belt clips, which is a nice level of detail. The back doors don't open, but we wouldn't expect it on a 124th scale of this variety, this price point. Uh, since it was a gift, I don't know what these retail for. I don't really have much experience with the Hongwell brand other than watching some YouTube videos of, uh, I forget who it is, it collects basically every, has it basically every Hongwell uh, Land Rover, and i uh, seen some on, on Roverland, which got me thinking that I mentioned, I mentioned that I had this, and I didn't do the video yet. I've had it for a couple of years, and uh, this is the first time I've actually shown it on video, so, um, yeah, this is my... Hung, a Carorama by Hongwell 124th scale Volkswagen Golf GTI, which it is a Mark V, I believe. I should know that. But anyway, yeah, so as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I will thank you for watching, and I will check you, I will catch you on the next one. See ya.